So some people find cauliflower rice to be too mushy. Uh, ways to fix this is one, to pulse it in batches in the food processor. That way it's more evenly broken down. Um, and two is to make sure that you don't pulse it um, to any smaller than the size of a grain of rice. So I sauteed a third of a cup of chopped celery, one diced onion, and two cloves garlic in olive oil for about uh, three minutes until tender. And now I'm just going to add in um, a splash of vegetable stock just to cook the celery through. So I've let that cook for a few minutes until the celery's lost its crunch. And then I'm going to add in three cups of the riced uh, cauliflower, two cups of shredded kale, um, and the remaining uh, vegetable stock. So I always like to keep a can of coconut milk in the fridge so that it's already separated uh, for whenever I need coconut cream. Uh, so for this recipe, we're going to use three tablespoons of it. And don't worry, guys, you're not going to be able to. Okay, so after about eight minutes, the cauliflower rice is tender but not mushy. I'm going to stir in the three tablespoons of coconut cream. Do not worry. I promise you're not going to be able to taste the coconut flavor. And we're going to zest one lemon. So this is really creamy thanks to the addition of coconut cream, but you can't actually taste any coconut uh, because it's hidden by the flavor of lemon, which um, adds nice freshness to it as well. So this will last about three or four days in the fridge and is really good reheated or cold.